Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing the books that I have rated five stars so far this year. We are going to go chronological order and the very first book that I gave five stars to this year was Reminders of Him by Colleen Hoover. This is a romance in which our main character Kenna has been in jail for the past five years and she gave birth while she was in jail. So when she gets out her main goal is to go and try and see her daughter, have a relationship with her daughter and so she goes back um, to basically try to make things right and so that she can you know meet her daughter who's taken away from her and in the process she starts to fall in love with someone but I can't really get much into it without giving away um anything from this book but I did absolutely sob I loved this obviously it's Colleen Hoover but I do think that this was a really really good book and it really tugged at my heartstrings so I definitely recommend it I it was the first book I gave five stars of the year and I definitely enjoyed it, especially if you love Colleen Hoover or if you like romance, definitely pick this one up. The next two books go together and I gave them both five stars and it is Crescent City House of Earth and Blood and Crescent City House of Sky and Breath. I gave them both five stars. If you do not know, these are urban fantasy books um, about fae and shapeshifter and basically they're kind of, it's kind of crime solving book. They are trying to figure out a crime in this book and that's kind of how it starts. Um, and she teams up with an angel. She is half a half human Bryce and it kind of goes from there. But you probably already know about these if you know anything about Sarah J Mass. I absolutely love both of them. There's a reading vlog of me reading House of Sky of Breath up on my YouTube channel if you want to watch that as well. But yeah, I gave them both five stars. I absolutely loved these books. So much fun. Next book that I gave five stars to was Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. This is a then and now perspective style book um, of her and her childhood friend and then them reconnecting now. Kind of what went wrong with, between them is in the then because they started to develop a relationship, something goes wrong, and now she's seeing him again for the first time in years. And so it's a then and now perspective of like how they met each other originally and now what they're trying to do to maybe mend this relationship. I cried once again. I love Christina Lauren books, but this one really, really hit me. I cannot believe it took me so long to read this book. Um, so if you like romance, definitely pick this one up. I absolutely loved it and I definitely recommend it to like everyone. I sobbed, but also it was really sweet. Also, the characters in this book read a lot and their like whole thing is words and like their favorite words and things like that. So that's like a bookish person's dream. The next five star read actually is the final book in a series. It is The Burning God, um, which is the last one in the Poppy War. What the Poppy War is about is um, we have our main character who basically tests into an academy where they train you for the military. It's her only way to really get out of poverty. And then war actually happens and they have to fight in the war and then there's just like a whole bunch of stuff. I would check content warnings if you want to read these books because they are kind of graphic and there are a lot of sensitive topics in them. But I absolutely love them. I sobbed and stared at a wall, blankly, after I read this book. It was so good. I absolutely adored it. Also, there's a bonus story in the back of this book that made me cry even more at the end of this book. But... I definitely really enjoyed this and it and it really solidified for me that I think I really love adult fantasy. The next five star read is A Thousand Boy Kisses by Tilly Cole. I will say there are things in this book that made me cringe a little bit and I did not like the epilogue but I still ended up giving it five stars because depression. Okay this is a romance about a girl and her childhood best friend how they meet fall in love at a young age. He leaves and things kind of fall apart but then they catch back up later so um it's basically about their love story and I haven't cried this hard at a book in a really long time like I was sobbing halfway through and that's when I knew I was in trouble and I mean like I was like ugly crying like couldn't breathe by the end of this it broke me into a million pieces but I absolutely loved it um so yeah if you like to cry and you like a good sad book read this but just know it may take a while to recover afterwards. The next two books also go together. Um, a Touch of Darkness and A Game of Fate. I gave both of these five stars. I think I liked Game of Fate better though. Hades Perspective was so good um, and this was just like a great start to Hades and Persephone retelling so 
this is like set in a modern day world. Um, Persephone's like a college student pursuing journalism. Hades owns a nightclub and they meet and then Hades and Persephone story, the typical one, ensues. Um, yeah, so this is a trilogy that is in Persephone's perspective and now she is writing Hades perspective of all of these books. So this is Hades perspective of book one um, and then there's book two and then Hades perspective of book two is coming out in the end of this month at the end of May um, on the 31st and then there's book three and then there will be a Hades perspective and then a book four. Um, so yeah I absolutely love these. I did not expect it. This is a book I said I was never gonna read and then I did and I was absolutely obsessed. I read both of these in a day. Not in the same day but like I picked this up read it in a day, picked this up read it in a day. If you like Greek mythology, pick it up. Great romance. And we have another romance. It's one that recently released and if um, you have seen any of my TikToks you would expect this from me because I absolutely adore this author. It is Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I once again loved this. Emily Henry just like does something for me. I mean I literally cried. I've cried in every single book I've read of hers. Beach Read's probably my favorite, but I definitely liked this one. Um, so basically we have Nora Stevens and we have Charlie. They are both in the like publishing industry. He's an editor, she's an agent, and she goes with her sister on like a vacation for the summer and he's there too. And they're like arch enemies, hate each other, have never liked each other. It talks about like why they don't like each other and they start to kind of catch feelings um, and it was really good. The end of it I was getting really stressed out. I was like I know you're not about to do this to me and I started crying but in the end all was well. Um, it's really good especially if you like girls who are not they're like you know bosses like they know what they want they get what they want they do everything by the book but I will say if you're an older sister be warned this hits hits you because she is the epitome of older sister trying to protect her younger sister. It also has a lot of um, stuff about like grieving um, a dead parent so if that's something you're sensitive to uh, keep that in mind as well but I did actually really enjoy this book and it was really cute. It's set in a small town. It was perfect. I absolutely loved it. I will read anything Emily Henry ever writes because she is just amazing. And the last book so far this year that I have given five stars to is probably one of my new favorite books. I loved it so much and it was Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir. This book was so good and I don't normally do sci-fi but I absolutely loved this. It is funny, like actually funny and I don't laugh at books but I laughed at this more than once. It was very stressful. Lots of times I was finding myself anxious like oh my gosh this is this is scary because they're in space. Basically what happens is this guy he wakes up on a spaceship doesn't know who he is, doesn't know where he is or why he's there, realizes he's on a spaceship, starts to have flashbacks. So it goes with what's happening now and then flashbacks of like how he got to here and he realizes he's on a mission to save Earth from dying all by himself because the rest of the crew is dead. Very stressful. But also there's another character who turns up in this book who is hilarious. I loved him. He is my favorite. I will cherish him forever um, but I don't really want to talk more about it because spoilers but yeah I absolutely adored this book I think it was it was great I will say there's a lot of math physics that kind of thing because it's very sciencey but I will it wasn't super confusing like it explains it but there is a lot of science dumping on you so if you don't like that maybe don't pick this up but I still think it was so worth it I the ending was so good I just I loved it and it's a lot about like humanity and like you know what you would do and how far you would go to save people so I definitely really enjoyed this book so we are almost through May and those are the books I have currently rated five stars for the year thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye the bromance book club series so I'm gonna explain kind of how this series